some surefire winners. Playing well together as a team. Get into the Hurricanes boots. Fridays, 4.15, CITV. Now it's time to join Mike and Angelo in the kitchen as they attempt to whip up a culinary masterpiece. Hmm. Just, um, uh, Is there any point in even asking? He insulted me. Oh, you insulted me! I never insulted you, you two-faced lying hound. Oh, see, see, ha, he can't stop himself. I'll stop you, Buster, any time. <laughs> pack it in, will you? I've told you before, you don't settle differences in this house with violence. Now, what's all this about? Sorry, Katie, but it, it's a matter of honor. Oh! Will somebody please tell me how all this started? We were watching Teletubbies, and he said that Dipsy was better than Lala. Oh, you got a problem with that, pal? Yeah, pal, do you want to make something of it? Oh, I ought to knock your two silly heads together till the sparks fly. Can't I just leave this house for one weekend without the two of you carrying on like a pair of Siamese fighting fish? <laughs> Sorry, Katie. I hope the sponsor walk goes well. What do you think? Ooh, ha uh, uh. Do you know what this means? Yeah. Isn't it Albanian for my sister's water buffalo has a briefcase full of custard? No, not quite. It stands for out of work actors hospital appeal. Me and some pals are going to walk to Brighton and raise money to buy equipment for the local hospital. Oh, marvellous. <laughs> Nothing like a spot of good old heartfelt charity. Look, here's a list of stuff we're aiming for. 80,000 quid will buy us a new X-ray machine. Right down to £50 pounds for a stethoscope. Ooh. How much is a packet of corn plasters? <laughs> You're going to need those after walking all the way to Brighton. Now, you know I'm staying away tonight. Can I trust you two to look after yourselves and not burn the house to the ground? Go, 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 go. We'll be fine. Quit worrying. Have a great time. Break a leg! <laughs> You've had enough of balls of fluff. <laughs> Cobwebs, crumbs and dirt. So don't be a slob. What you need for the job? A fluff buster. From <laughs> There! Oh, I hope Katie's left plenty of food. I'm ravenous. Fear not, my famished little friend. <laughs> Our catering requirements are in hand, courtesy of yours truly. You've organized lunch? What's the number of that takeaway place? Oh, don't be like that, Mikey. Come through to the kitchen. You may be amazed. <laughs> I'd be amazed if I wasn't. Presenting for your delectation and divertissement, the Angelo patent pending paraffin powered precision part pizza processor. <laughs> Didn't you hear what Katie said? Pepperoni okay for you, Mike? Angelo. Yeah. Mozzarella. Yeah. Onions. Tomatoes. Yeah. She specifically asked us not to reduce the house to a pile of charred ashes. Here we go. <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> a luncheon is served. <laughs> Go on, say something. Anything. Angelo, that was fabulous. <laughs> it tasted like heaven. And the best thing, look, I haven't sprouted a beard or grown an extra nose or anything. <laughs> what more could you ask of a main course? You know, people would pay good money for pizza this sex, huh? Do you reckon? Absolutely. So we could make lots of them and sell them and make a ton of cash. What? <laughs> well, you said so yourself. There's gold in them dark peaches. <laughs> <laughs> Hold it, partner. Are you telling me you want to become a fast food fat cat? No, 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 <laughs> silly boy. The money's not for me. It's for Katie, for her charity appeal, for the hospital. We could surprise her when she comes home with a whopping great donation. What do you say? <laughs> Let me get my head around this. We bake pizzas. We sell pizzas. We collect money for a good cause. <laughs> it all sounds so plausible. <laughs> Something has to go horribly wrong. Come, Mikey. Have a bit of faith. 
bit of confidence. Have another bit of pizza. <laughs> Inches on your waistie. <laughs> I've been all over the neighbourhood, sticking up posters, handing out leaflets. There can't be a single person in town who hasn't heard of patent pending pizzas. <laughs> well, I guess all we have to do now is just sit back and wait for the orders to come rolling in. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, patent pending pizzas. Mike speaking. How can I help you? Okay. You want two margaritas and a Four Seasons with extra anchovies. <laughs> and the address is. Thank you, ma'am. Be with you in 10 minutes. Bye now. <laughs> hey, what do you know? <laughs> Looks like you and me are in business. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, ma'am. Bye now. <laughs> Siciliana with the extra mushrooms. <laughs> it's what extra crusty? Hey, don't take that tone with me, pal. <laughs> Stupid wrong numbered numpty. Talk to me like it's a flaming pizza parlor. <laughs> ah, this is a flaming pizza parlor. Katie, we weren't expecting you back so soon. It stays me any longer. You probably have turned this place into a drive-through karaoke baked potato bar. What is all this? Ah, this is the nerve centre of patent pending pizzas PLC. They're tasty. They're Hasty, put inches on your waist. Katie, please don't ball him out till you've heard the whole story. For once, he's come up with a decent idea. Ah, uh, a decent idea. You've turned my kitchen into a pizza factory. There's hungry customers barking down the phone. Yeah, but Katie, we're going to tell me. It's a coach load of salivating Turkish tourists wanting five dozen pepperoni deluxe and a side order of garlic bread. <laughs> Katie, wait! You don't understand. <laughs> Sharky. Brilliant, that's all we need. No <laughs> time, no see, cupcake. I'm so sorry. Our mozzarella de mafioso is off the menu right now. Are you there? Che! <laughs> Isn't it cosy? Us <laughs> all together again. All the old memories flooding back, eh? Yeah, the threats, the bullying, the violence. Ah, those were the days. <laughs> Mr. Sharky, what exactly do you want? Straight down to business. I like this boy. <laughs> this boy's got a good head on his shoulders for the moment. Right, listen, stop right there. Not another step. I'm warning you, don't enter that kitchen or else. <laughs> All right, I'll let you into the kitchen just this once. <laughs> So, patent pending pizzas. Very tasty, I hear. Selling like mice on a stick at a cat convention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And your point is? My point is on the end of a very sharp stick. There's going to be poking in your direction if you don't shut up shop and leave the pizzas to the professionals. What? The Cricklewood concession's mine, kiddo. There's only room for one pizza place in this town, and that place is Sharky Shack. Speciality of the house, a knuckle sandwich. Uh -huh. You're right. You've come here to get these two to close down their business? That is the nub of my gist in a nutshell, my dear. Oh, well, then, there's no problem. I was just about to tell him to pack it in when you rang the doorbell. <laughs> Katie! Champion! Well, we may be able to settle this without any broken bones. Shame, but you can't have everything. Believe me, this is the last you'll be seeing of patent pending pizzas. And the last you'll be seeing of your charity money. What? Excellent. Well, I'll uh, loathe you and leave you. I have a little old lady with an asthmatic budgie to evict before tea time. Ciao now. <laughs> What do you mean? What charity money? What's going on here? We were doing all this to raise funds for your hospital appeal. We tried to tell you, Katie, but you just wouldn't listen. Well, I'm listening now. <laughs> this is a different kettle of kippers altogether, right? <laughs> Angelo, crank up that oven of yours. Load up your big mic. Patent pending pizzas is back in business. <laughs> yeah, but what about uh, you know who? Ah, we're not frightened of that little puffed up bag of wind. We can handle a big girl's blouse like shaft. <laughs> We. <laughs> I keep hearing we. <laughs> Katie's right. The guys all live in loafers. I vote we keep going. Fair enough. Okay, Mike. Here's your next delivery. <laughs> Gasworks parade. 
Isn't that just round the corner from Sharky Shack? You don't think that... that oh, that they... stop worrying. I know his type. I promise you, Mikey, he won't lay a finger on you. <laughs> <gasps> Mikey! <laughs> oh, you've had an accident on your wee bike. Believe me, this was no accident. <laughs> He won't lay a finger on you, you said. Well, thanks a bunch, Mystic Meg. Sharky. The bike's in the canal. The pizzas are in a skip. And if anyone's thinking of buying me a shirt for Christmas, make it extra oblong. Angelo, help me here. Oh, this guy means serious business. We are talking one serious head case here. I'll go and dismantle the pizza process. Oh, for my dead body. Oh, I'm sure our friend Sharky can arrange that. Give me one good reason why we should kowtow to that mouthy, plug-ugly thunk. Because he'll break our fingers? That's ten good reasons. I've told you already. There is no way that man is going to do anything to hurt us. <laughs> Want a bet, baby cakes? Okay, that is it. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting myself a little protection here. <laughs> we shall never surrender. <laughs> hey, hold it right there, pal. Grab the other end, Angelo. We'll place all the furniture in front of the French windows. That might just hold them off for a little while. Put that down immediately. You're right. What are we doing? This is ludicrous. I should be building us a bully-bashing thug thrasher. Get this absolutely straight. Number one, we are not going to barricade ourselves in our own home. Number two, we are not going to build any kind of crazy weapons to protect ourselves. And number three, if Sharky does call again, I shall simply talk it out with him. Oh, that'll be fun, with your tongue nailed to the coffee table. Don't you understand? <laughs> if you get into a punch-up with a the guy, then you're no better than he is. But... I'm serious. I'm having no fighting and no violence under this roof, understand? <laughs> That's better. Now, I want to hear no more about it. <laughs> Boy, she is so humongously wrong on this one. Sharky will be back as sure as broken legs is broken legs. <laughs> hang on, hang on. I've got an idea. I promised not to build any new machines, right, to fight off the baddies. Right. <laughs> <laughs> OK, OK. How's about? I adapt one of my old ones instead. <laughs> now, I didn't promise not to do that, now, did I? Brilliant! <laughs> Any ideas? <laughs> it's three o'clock, Mike. Are you sure he's gonna come? Sure, I'm sure. <sighs> Good. Then we'll be ready for him with the Angelo patent pending <laughs> rapid fire pizza bazooka. <laughs> Angelo, this is it. Ready? Oh. Ready! Fire! Bang on target! Reload! Reloading! <laughs> Katie. Katie. We, we thought... Oh. We, we, we thought that... Uh, uh, we, we thought uh, you were Sharky. <laughs> oh, well, so let me get your towel soon, clean you up. Uh, of course. With the light on, you look nothing like him. <laughs> Katie, uh, say something. <laughs> Anything? Oh, for pity's <laughs> sake! What are you two playing at? <laughs> for the last and the very last time, Sharky is not coming here. <laughs> well, look here. Seems like the big bad wolf just huffed and puffed down the back door of the three little piggies out. <laughs> What do you want? What are you doing here? Oh, get that on. What are we doing here, she says. Why don't you give the little lady a free demonstration of what we're doing here? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh. oh he, he's, he's marvellous. <laughs> Does he do balloon bending? <laughs> Who's been a naughty little girly then, eh? Who promised Uncle Dan she wouldn't make no more pizzas? And who's gone and broken her promise, eh? <laughs> I know the answers to that one. Shut it, Jumbo Jaws. <laughs> OK, so we're still in business, but all the money we make is going to support the hospital. Yeah, I support that hospital. I do my bit. Only this afternoon I donated three patients to the fracture clinic. <laughs> <laughs> Shame on you! Have you no compassion? Compassion? I'm oozing it, my dear. And that's why I'm only going to break one of your legs. <laughs> Mr Sharky, please, no! Wait! Didn't I tell you to keep stum? Mr Sharky, I bet you're a betting man. Yeah? So? 
What's that got to do with anything? The kind of man who likes to keep raising the stakes. Angelo! No, I know what I'm doing. I wish I did. What are you prattling on about? A wager. A little gamble. Just me and you, Sharky Poo. I win, and you two clear off and leave us alone. You win, and, um... You can have this house. <laughs> what? No! <laughs> Don't listen to him, he's crazy. <laughs> Let me get this straight. You are challenging me to what exactly? Poker? Snooker? Darts? I could thrash you at all of them and any other game you care to choose, Sunshine. Angelo, that big mouth of yours always getting us deeper into trouble. Au contraire, mademoiselle. <laughs> this time, my big mouth is going to get us out of trouble. <laughs> Mr. Sharky. I hereby challenge you to a pizza-eating competition. <laughs> pizza-eating? Pizza-eating! OK. Put your house where your mouth is, sunshine. You got yourself a bit. <laughs> are you completely out of your tree? Angelo, think about it. You are risking the roof over our heads and some stupid stomach stuffing contest. Sharky will eat you alive, let alone the rotten pizzas. <laughs> You said you wanted a non-violent solution. You said fighting never solves anything. You... Throw me back! <laughs> I've got him off those grinning teeth so far down his gut! Bon <laughs> <laughs> appetit, Mr Sharky. May the best man win. Eat your heart out, loser. You're about to be thrashed by Dan Sharky, the Cricklewood Cruncher. <laughs> OK, guys, pick up your pizzas. Let battle commence. even sniffing round here again, right? <laughs> hey, we actually did it! Beat the bullies and helped the hospital! Well, after all this, I wonder how much money we actually raised. <laughs> <laughs> Shush, will you? I'm trying to head up here. Well? I think I've got a final tally. <laughs> Minus the cost of the ingredients, the money we laid out for advertising, bicycle repairs, new windows, and other breakages, the grand total stands at... 18 pounds 72p. Oh. Well, OK. Let's see what we can do with that. 18 pounds and 72p will get us... Ah! A stomach pump! I think I may be the first to need it. <laughs> oh. 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 I hear my grown to three wishes. Three wishes. <gasps> you only have one wish left, right, Andy Genie? Yes, wish number three, and that's your lot. Really, really wish I was Mr. Sensible. <laughs> oh, oh, dear! Oh, me! Oh, my! Oh, oh. <laughs>